in this latest episode of Solved, where I kind of go over questions that I just commonly get inside of Lightroom and Photoshop. So these questions come from you guys out there. And when I see a lot of them, I just kind of put it into a, a little tip here. So this latest one, it's one that bugs me. Um, the layer thumbnail size by default is so small inside of Photoshop. And if you don't think so, then that means you have really good eyesight. And I do not have really good eyesight. So there is a way we can make those layer thumbnails big, but also a couple other things inside of Photoshop that we can make a little bit bigger so it's a lot easier to see. Well, the first one that I alluded to in the introduction is the, in the layers panel over here. Okay, these layers panel thumbnails. and. Um, they're just small, especially as you start to create more layers and maybe you have little minute details, pieces of a photo selections. If you're compositing, it gets really hard to see what's going on in there. So to fix that, all you have to do is hover over any one of those thumbnails, right click and choose large thumbnails from the list. Okay. They don't get as large as I'd prefer, but they are larger than the original one. So you can just get a better feeling for what's on that layer. You may need to extend your layers panel a little bit uh, so that the more layers you have in here, um, you'll, you won't be able to see as many because the thumbnails are larger. Alternatively, if you're somebody that doesn't care, right click and you can choose small. And do you know how many little layer thumbnails you can fit in there at that size? But that is not me. I will always, always, keep this on large. Okay. And then the other place where you can, you can help out if, um, if Photoshop is hard for you to see or hard for you to see something, uh, it would be under the edit menu on the PC, under the Photoshop menu on the Mac, go to preferences and then come down here to interface inside of interface. Uh, you will see two key settings. Uh, one has been there for a while. The other one is kind of new. Um, so UI font size. Now we can change this to large. All right. And this is fairly new. Um, and then you can scale the UI to the font. So the, uh, just as far as everything else in the, in the UI should get a little bit larger. Um, it does say changes will take effect next time you restart Photoshop. So once you click okay here, you'll probably want to go and restart Photoshop. And, um, Again, it's one of those things. It will be larger. I have done a back-to-back -back comparison and they are indeed, everything is, is indeed larger. For me, it's still not large enough. I would, especially with these 4K screens and everything. Um, I can't, I can't quite get it just as large as I'd like to see it, but it is definitely a help. So guys, hope you enjoyed that little tip. Um, and, uh, and if you do like these videos, just, uh, hope you swing by the website, whether it's YouTube or Facebook and um, subscribe to either one of those channels. And that way, as I do release new videos, you'll get notified.